Allah Almighty for keeping. Because you can't keep, uh, bring camel in uh, in masjid also. No. All animals also are going in. No. And this hadith gives us uh, this lesson. This is a very big and uh, endless sea, ocean, <coughs> on all this. Gives a uh, perfect arrangement the lives of people. Akil wa tawakkal. These two words. Gives all uh, humankind what is the right for them for everything it is all right bind it and then trust to you are not without binding it is not true to say I am trusting in Allah Almighty. No. Okay. For yeah. <coughs> everything, you must look with your willpower. What I can do? When you know what you can do, you must do that. Then you must trust to Allah Almighty. If you are living even very little thing from your responsibility, then Allah Almighty not taking on Himself responsibility for you. This is a very good lesson. The way is good manners way. Everyone must learn good manners so that he may be a good person. Man can carry good personality or bad personality. Originally, everyone without training good manners, he has bad characteristics. <coughs> because in everyone his egos is stronger firstly you must try to take power from the hands of your ego so that 
you may have a good personality if you are living yourself in the hands of your nafis in the hands of your ego you must uh, be a bad uh, personality you must have uh, you will be uh, a bad personality when you are in the hands of your ego your personality is no good bad personality understanding therefore uh, at the same time first man is created by the creator <coughs> by Allah Almighty he is the creator he created first man <coughs> and <coughs> he uh, giving him prophet hood firstly so that first man was the first prophet for training <coughs> every uh, born children with good characters and with good manners because man <coughs> in need for training understanding for a baby two trainers <coughs> mother and father <coughs> training teaching baby to grow up then in a school teachers teaching training we are in need for training But prophets, prophets training is most important training. Your mother and father <coughs> and your teachers may teach you something. But uh, it is only for your egos. Uh, desires to to give our egos desires they are training us but prophets trainings <coughs> and teachings it is for uh, to say you us from the hand of our uh, ego's desires because our nafis or our ego's desires endless never ending desires for our egos asking any time more and more and more and endless desires if we are going after our 
ego's desires, we can't find any limit for that desires, we shall be tired and we shall die tiring, with tired. Fatigue. Fatigue. Fatigue? The state of being very tired is fatigue. 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 Prophets teaching us how we can stop in a limit, then how we can keep ourselves from endless working and tiring. And they are teaching us what is our uh, purpose from this life and they are uh, signing us or they are showing us what is our destination <coughs> in this life who follows the prophet's teachings or uh, trainings, they, they will have a good personality. Because prophets Trains, they are good manners for everyone. Now we are in a time that all prophets go away, but the deputy, deputy, deputy. Deputy, deputy for them, uh, every time, if you are asking, you may find deputy for them, whom they are teaching <coughs> people with manners, I mean to say, how they can save themselves from their egos assaulting. Now <coughs> I am making this introduction for a very important good manner that we must follow it. As I heard from our Grand Sheikh. <coughs> it is an important manner, good manner, to learn and to act with that manner. It is not only for hearing, but it is for action also every good manner. We must listen and we must act with that uh, good manner. <coughs> Did you see a sick man going to doctor and taking medicines and then putting on the table and looking on it, he is a foolish man. If only putting in front of him medicines and not drinking, not eating, 
medicines for drinking, not looking after. Therefore, good manners, not only for listening, but for action. You must do. As you listening, you must do that good manners. <coughs> Now, this is an important manner that we must keep it along our lives. <coughs> Anytime we may in need for that good manner. Uh. the good manner to listen to everyone. This is a good manner. Listening everyone who is speaking to you. You may listen them. But But what is the bad manner? Jidal. Argumentation. Uh, argumentation. You understand? Yeah. Just like German. This word is just like in German. Argumentation is a bad manner. Because the English learned from the Germans. <laughs> <laughs> Understand? Discuté. Discuté. Non, discuté. 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 Don't do uh, argumentation. Huh? Don't argue. Don't, Don't argue. argue. With anyone, if you are uh, right, all right, but for that also you must not argue with people. Not, must not argue about not arguing. You hmm? mean? What? I, I don't understand. No, if you are right, even if you are right, what you say, even with what is right, don't argue. The other says, no, you're wrong. Huh? Don't insist and don't argue. Like no. Yes, yes. He says, our grand sheikh says, you know that you are hundred percent, you are right. And you know that person who arguing to you, hundred percent mistaken or wrong. But don't argue when he keeping his wrong strongly. Don't argue with, with him. This is prohibited. To make argument it is a bad manner and prohibited. Don't argue with people. If uh, he's saying something wrong, if you find him accepting, asking the right thing, you may speak to him. But when you are looking at a person going to make argument, nothing else, listen to him and don't tell him, La, you are wrong. No. Hmm. 
Only tell him a high Is it like this? Yes. Is it like this? Is, is that it so? so? Is that so? Is that so? Is that so? Then he will stop because no benefit, never comes benefit from argument. Maybe both sides, maybe enemies, enmity comes from this argument. You may like a person, when, but when you are arguing with him, you may be enemies. No. Leave him. Is it so? Is that so? Lakum dinukum waliyadid. This is the meaning. You are believing for you my believing for me. You are not coming to listen to me and I am not going to believe as you are believing. Finish. Don't argue with him. But when he is asking for learning, it is not argument. He listens and learns and asks it, this is uh, we we are in need for ex explain to him more and more when uh, we are finding uh, accept acceptance from him we may give when we are looking he is closed person for what you are uh, tiring live must be like the river no you told us once like the river going around the rock. Yes, leave it another way. <laughs> Sheikh Ibrahim uh, making argument. Anyone looks uh, wrong way, uh -oh. coming and fighting. No one listening to him also. <laughs> they are going as they like. Yes? This is very important because he says, our Ganesh was saying, argument going uh, to, uh, what is that? Extinguish. Extinguish uh, the light of faith in our hearts. Sometimes you may uh, uh, listen from that person some words you never uh, thought about and makes your uh, faith <coughs> decrease. <coughs> huh? decrease. Decrease. Yes. Therefore, don't. Argue? Argue. Argue. Mm -hmm. Don't argue with anyone. Huh. Perhaps that person may come to you for asking after this. When he is asking, it means there is a uh, little place to enter, opened. You may find a place to, to put in his mind something, but when closed, why you are coming? And our Grand Sheikh was saying, it is the highest degree of good manner, uh, don't, uh, do not argue with anyone, or do not say no, no right this, I not 
accept this. This is foolishness. Don't care. Uh, is, is that so? Oh. <laughs> that is in your sight, this is not in my sight. But I am not going coming to argue with you. All badness coming after argument. No friendship after argument. Your heart going to be cold and his heart coming to be ho cold to each others. Understand it? Our grand sheikh never going, he said to me that uh, his grand sheikh was never saying no or uh, it is not right to anyone. He was saying every uh, no good things, no refusing anyone. To refuse, it is no good. But when he was sitting with his people, coming on uh, their opinions, uh, firing on them, then that person knows this is for me. I was wrong with my thought. This is true. Coming. Because no one likes to refuse uh, for his uh, words. Red Kalam Allah Shakis. No one uh, likes this. Everyone like, likes to be respected. Everyone likes this. When we are saying we are wrong, he feels that uh, going down. He must defend himself. Yes, then he is coming to defend himself with battle. False. With false. Falsehood. Huh? Falsehood. Falsehood. His egos coming up. How you can say to me that I am wrong? Yes. Teeth, long teeth. Yes. Ready to strike you, uh, to to bite you. When you are uh, say, uh, not refusing, smiling. When he is angry, showing his Thanks. teeth. Yes, I am ready to bite you. Shave. Don't show your teeth, people. 